All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you two new things which I think are really cool and awesome, which we have now got as additions with inside OBS Studio, very specifically for Apple Silicon-based Macs. So let me just show you a couple of things here. First of all, I am now on OBS version 29, and also this is running on a MacBook Pro M1 Mac, so obviously Apple Silicon Mac. Now the two new things that I find really exciting here are the addition of two new recording codecs which are going to be native to the Apple Silicon chips. So they are going to be HEVC and also ProRes. So let me just dive into this and show you this. So if I go to settings here and then if I go to output, if I go to recording, as you can see here, I'm set up for MP4 with H.264 here, or more specifically, Apple VT H.264 software encoder. Now, if I click on the list here for the encoding codecs, as we will see, we've got new additional codecs here. And don't forget, these are running native to Apple Silicon. So on the top here, as we can see, is Apple VT ProRes software encoder and Apple VT ProRes hardware encoder. Now, the variation between software and hardware will run slightly differently depending upon which Apple Silicon device you've got because some of them have got very specific hardware encoders. Those that don't will be able to use the software encoder. Then if we come down here, we have got Apple VT HEVC software encoder Apple VT HEVC hardware encoder. Once again, the variation between hardware and software there will match up depending upon which type of Mac you are using. Also, when it says VT, that just means video toolbox. So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly show you that I'm going to record something in HEVC hardware and also in ProRes hardware, and I will quickly show you that they've actually been recorded to the Mac. So if I just select here the hardware version of the HEVC codec, and as we can see here, I'm also in MP4. Now the container format is actually really important, and I will show you that shortly when I do the ProRes recording. Okay, so I'm just gonna okay all that there. Now what I'm gonna do is just click start recording. I'm not gonna record anything meaningful here. I'm just gonna show you something which will show us what we've actually recorded. Okay, so I'll stop that recording. So that's one recording done. Now what I'm gonna do is go back to settings, once again to output and recording, but this time I'm going to select the ProRes hardware encoder, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here is leave it on MP4. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna click okay, I'm gonna start recording, and then we get an error message coming up here. An encoder error occurred while recording. Well, unfortunately for us, it is not telling us exactly what that problem is. However, I think the problem is here is that we are using the wrong container for the encoder or the codec. So what we do here, if we go back once again to settings, back to output, back to recording, we've still got ProRes hardware selected. Now what I'm gonna do is switch over to MOV, hit okay there. And now I'm gonna start recording again, but this time, as we will see, it is now recording. So just to be clear, you have to be in the .mov container format in order to use the ProRes codec. Okay, so let me stop here. Now what I'm gonna do just quickly, let me just see if I've got my capture folder. There we go. There's my capture folder there. So there's the two things I've just recorded. One's MP4, one's .mov. This one here was the one that failed in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is open up DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm only going to use Resolve here because it will allow us to see some of the characteristics and parameters of the recordings. So what I'm going to do is import media. Now I'm going to just import. Well, I'll just import all three. One of them is just a dead file. As we can see, it's only brought in two files. So the first file there, if I click on that, if we come over here to where it says file, as we can see inside the actual inspector, H.265 main level 4.1. So that's our HEVC recording there. In fact, if I just drag that onto the timeline there, as we can see, that's it. Now, if I go to the second one here, as we can see, Apple ProRes 422. 
and as it well actually we can see there there is something in the file it this is actually obviously just kind of like you know the basic desktop of the ps5 here but nonetheless as i've shown you there anyway we have got hevc and prores now as options natively within apple silicon devices using obs version 29 okay that'll do it for this video i just wanted it to be as quick as possible just to inform people of these two new codec options within obs for apple silicon max now i'm not entirely sure how many people out there are doing obs or game recording or anything like that on these apple silicon max but please do let me know in the comments section below if there's anything very specifically to do with setups and such like that you would like to see with stuff like this because i actually do a lot of this for a lot of the stuff that i do and if there's enough people out there who want to see more stuff to do very specifically with the likes of obs or game capture and stuff like that or editing game capture or whatever on these Apple Silicon device machines. I'll definitely do more videos about it. Anyways, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.